I wanted to surprise you, but since you ask, ram's head soup. Hurrah! My favorite! It'll be ready soon. Just don't eat up all the eyes. Save some for your dad. Uh. Well, my dad's off fighting the black ones. My dad prepared like you just for a day. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, I don't like the idea of eating something's eyeballs. I know that that's not uncommon in the world. Plenty of people eat fish eyeballs and things like that, but not for me. Ugh, that sounds gross. All right. I, Holger Blackhand, do hereby announce the following. The warriors who brought shame on themselves and their line at the Battle of the Sodden Fields have shown that the punishment I meted out to them was far too lenient. Before defining on Skellig, they stole the horn of my ancestors. Oh, okay, I guess I'll uh, have to retrieve that. That is an odd contract for Witcher, but you take what you got. Uh, and then we'll just take everything else. All right. And so that should be all of the notice boards in this area, I think. Let me... I'm trying to use my mouse. It won't let me do it. Okay, right. Um, we're just kind of glancing around, just making sure that I did what I had to. <laughs> there might be other notice boards, like in this place over here. It's kind of really far off and no marker, so either people are dead there, or I'm supposed to go there myself and see what's going on. I mean, we have a direct connection from this place, so I guess I'll head over there. Uh, so is that really everything? I checked the top island as well. Yeah. Alright. Then I have every point of interest that I can generally find just from the notice boards. And that means we can begin exploring proper. Track down the thieves and retrieve Holger's horde. Okay. I, did, I wanted to see if that was even, like, something along my level. Because, you know, we get a lot of contracts and they're, like, fucking... Ten levels above me, What's and oh, it's kind of bothersome <laughs> because you know I'm used to games not giving you quests until like you're about that level, but The Witcher 3 sure does love to give me missions that like I have at least 15 to 20 contracts, uh, or rather not really contracts, but a combination of side missions and contracts that I can't do for a while. <laughs> So, yeah, but let's see what is going on up here. Ooh, is that a place of power or just a nice rock sticking out from the mountain? I think it might just end up being a rock. I don't know, man. I was, nope, it's a place of power. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's got to be. I'm happy. I'm happy I spotted that. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's a pretty noticeable rock in comparison to the rest of this mountain, and lo and behold, place of power. God, you know what? There's probably at least like four or five places of power on all the Skellige that I haven't gotten yet. That'll be nice. Whenever I reach the appropriate levels, I'll be able to continue Let's go. going up on stuff. For... Can I really not go up this? Wow. You disappoint me, horse. You know, I remember in a land far, far away, on the rim of a sky, I had a horse capable of scaling mountains. It was really, really impressive, honestly. Um... What is going on up here? Can I pray to this creepy-looking... shrine? How will the god feel if I extinguish the candles that represent him? Okay. <laughs> you never know. If I was a developer, I totally would sneak something in there. Jeez. Okay, this is a pretty tall mountain. I want to go all the way to the top of it if I could manage. <laughs> I mean, we'll see if I can. I, I doubt I can go up all the way to the top of the mountain. I'm trying, but I'm sure like if I go at the wrong angle, I'm just gonna slide down. Ooh. Watch there be like a wyvern or something up here. I'm trying my best. I'm even like spamming the jump button <laughs> to try and like help me along. Oh no. Mistakes were made! Oh boy! Okay. This is uh this is cool. Alright. <laughs> I'm not dying. 
The same can't be said about what I assume happened to the people here. This is not a pleasant looking village. Um, it's a pretty torn up place. Are there monsters here? Oh boy. A basilisk. Ah, shit. I can handle basilisks. Let me just uh, do a quick check. Basilisks are indeed dragonids. Well, you know what? Uh, let me make that dragonid oil or potion. Yeah, no, no, it's, I'm a, it's an oil. I'm right. <laughs> oh god, look at all these enhanced things I haven't made yet. I need dark essence to make another moon thing. But I don't use moons. So I don't really care too much about that. Okay. Oil, 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 oil. Yes. Okay. So if I have to fight that basilisk, which I probably will definitely do, I'll be prepared. Let me rub that oil on my stuff. Oh wait, it's up here. All right. I'm prepared, basilisk. But are there any survivors to this place? I mean, we have a marker and everything. The gods obviously didn't protect them. Oh boy. Uh, we have a Bellhaven Brigande. We're not gonna take that. We're fine. I'm tempted to check out all of the buildings. But at the same time, I've kind of been conditioned not to do it. <laughs> I mean, generally if I'm not seeing like a bunch of people around the place, it means there's probably not much of any kind of loot to grab. I, I've yet to find any super significant loot in the world from like a destroyed ass place. I mean, maybe some diagrams, but usually the places where I find diagrams are marked on the map. You know, like guarded treasure, or uh, a smuggler's cache, that kind of stuff. But we're not getting that. Nope, this place just got completely fucked. I'm not even seeing dead bodies. Uh, I mean, maybe they just ran away. <laughs> I'd do it if I saw something like that just kind of circling around the village. Oh boy. Okay. We're gonna fight this. The Basilisk will go down. Unless it's like super high level, then probably not. It's hard to tell. Alright, it's level 20. This will be fine. Oh, that was a nice swing, Mr. Cockatrice. Oh my god, he is tearing me apart. I'm trying to get enough swings in that I can use, uh, ow, adrenaline to kill it, or to use more signs. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. I should probably heal, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Um, yes, yes. Ooh, boy. Don't worry, I got this. Clears toxicity and cancels all the potion effects. And now I have all <laughs> of my health back. Or a good majority of my health back. So, the bad thing that I've been doing is attacking this thing on the right side. Like that! Fuck! I got it, don't worry. Oh, it's not a basilisk, it's a cockatrice. I always get these things mixed up. <laughs> There's like three different flying monsters. All right. And the basilisk and the cockatrice are just two I've not fought against that many times. Although, you know, I'm seeing a little bit of a ruin. Maybe there's something inside of it. Last time I fought a cockatrice, there was uh, school gear around it. In fact, it was my griffin boots. Witchers seem to like hiding things. Oh boy. Inside of ruins. Um, do I want to go in the spooky deep and dark cave? Well, I mean, I said I wanted to explore all the pl uh, places of, or not places of power, points of interest. So I guess, fuck it. The question is what kind of monsters are here? Neckers. Okay, I can handle them. Let me just get my agrid oil. My not enhanced agrid oil. Alright. Ring it on, Neckers! Wow, level six! 
Really? What would I be doing at level six here? <laughs> I'm just like thinking, like what? Well, I'll, I'll take what I can get. Locked! Oh, you're kidding me. Then this random ass monster den? Ugh. Alright. I'm gonna take Cat because the torch has fucked me way too many times lately. I wonder if there's a mod to kind of like give you night vision with Cat, but not give you like ridiculous levels of night vision with cat. Ooh, hey, there's the key. Letter from an alchemist. Alright. Uh, but what I mean by that is, like, okay, you can see how... Oh, because the alchemist is dead right here. Ah, I see. I thought I just legitimately picked it up from the Necker. But, yeah, so with with cat on, it kind of super desaturates the world. And I don't like that. I, I like having color there. So I'd rather it brighten up the world, but still let me see things in color. And I wish there was a mod like that. So, what is this alchemist fucking doing in this cave? Nope, that's not it. Uh, is it over here? Letter from an alchemist, alright. Dearest Sir Robert de Mere, Thank you for sending a bill of exchange in advance, and for your understanding. If I gave out advice for free, I'd very quickly run myself out of business. You wrote that your son went missing while on a voyage, and that near the place where he was last seen, there now lurks a necker who wears a tattered shirt with your son's monogram sewed on it. You asked if it's possible that this necker was your son, transformed by some spell. After consulting the relevant literature, it pains me to inform you that your hypothesis is highly improbable, and there exists a much simpler and more likely explanation. Contrary to popular belief, neckers are a sapient species. Like forest trolls, they will at times decorate themselves with pigments or scraps of human garments. One can with some confidence surmise that this necker killed your son, tore up his shirt, and then put it on or some fragment thereof. While that is most likely the case, one cannot be certain. Though I have not heard of any curse capable of turning a man into a necker, I cannot rule out the possibility of its existence. And in order to find out if the above mentioned necker truly is a creature born of a curse, the tattered shirt it wears must be taken from it, cut into shreds, and burned. The shirt's sashes can then be mixed into dimeterium dust. If the resulting substance changes color, it will confirm your hypothesis. If the experiment I described returns a positive result, please write me. I would I gladly undertake further examinations meant to find a way to lift this curse for additional payment, of course. Greetings, Klaus Kellerman, Magister Artibus Oxionius. Dude, this guy got this guy killed. The alchemist got this father killed because the dad's like, I gotta go. I gotta get that fragment from that necker. Hmm, something here. That artifact Kira gave me. Don't worry, I already got it. I figured there's more to the cave, so I'll explore before I go back over to the other side. Oh boy. Rendering a part of the cave that does not have a mini map set for it. Mmm. And yet there's more underground exploration around it? That'll be interesting. Ooh, a master craft a saddle. And assault gauntlets! Oh man, you know what, speaking of uh, saddle, let me equip this. I bought a master crafted cavalry saddle, which has a slightly higher amount, and that's always good to have. <laughs> I'm gonna be prepared for all those races that I never really fully enjoy doing. Oh boy. Okay, we got an entrance. I'm burning my eyeballs, but we found another entrance to this place. So, I guess you could technically say this is a slight shortcut through the mountain. Kind of, but not really. <laughs> Alright, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I can find from here. Since I guess I came from the side that really didn't have much going for it. If I had come from this side, I would have found the Necker Cave, found the Alchemist Dude, and then stumbled upon that Alchemist Lockbox last. And that would have been a treat! But nope, we're going in reverse. <laughs> So actually, I don't, um, so we have an alchemist letter, or was it a letter to an alchemist? Let me see. Well, it's not up here in the, uh, top area, so that's kind of unfortunate, but is it this one? Nope. 
I wish there was a way to organize by when I got stuff. I mean, let's see if I can. Nope, there is no way to organize by the date and time that I got an item. Which is a shame, considering that I don't know when I got a lot of these things. There we go. Letter from an alchemist. Okay. So, are both the people alchemists? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to grasp from that story. It doesn't really fully matter, but it's definitely uh, interesting. Alright. We have ourselves... Nothing great, but Lyrian hardened leather trousers. Are those any kind of decent? They give 46 vitality, a bunch of resistances, and that's really about it. That's disappointing. Alright. <laughs> Just not much there for me. Hmm. Another dead body. But nothing else? Oh, what happened here? Crumpled letter. Dear sir, you were kind enough to share with me your doubts concerning the contract. You made it clear you believe it, w it is impossible for a man to turn to a NECA. You even drove the point home with a humorous comparison, saying, I believe, same as a pig won't turn into a horse, not even if you strap a, stra a, straddle, uh, a, straddle, a saddle on it and call it Black Beauty. It is entirely possible that you are right, but there exists even the shadowless chance that my son has been imprisoned in the body of that monster, that some spell or curse has done this to him, then I will not rest until I try every possible way of helping him. That is why I would ask you to refrain from further attempts at humor and keep your doubts to yourself. Instead, channel those energies towards doing your job for which you shall be paid. Catch the NECA and collect your gold. The rest should not interest you. Respectfully yours, Robert DeMere. Oh. Alright, so the dad did not come out here, or maybe he did after these people obviously failed in their mission. Wow, I can't believe they couldn't handle a few Neckers. I mean, obviously, monsters probably are hard to deal with. With normal humans, that's uh, to be expected. Should have hired a Witcher. <laughs> might, have ha might have had a uh, higher chance of success. Okay. We're just gonna meditate, and that'll get rid of it immediately. And also, refill all of my potions. So where am I going next? Uh... Oh, boy. Everywhere. That's where we're going. We're going everywhere. Because... <laughs> look at this kind of... Oh, boy. Well, you know what? Let me, let me have a little bit of direction. We'll explore via proxy, right? And by that I mean, I'm gonna try and do some of these contracts and these treasure hunts rather than just purely hunting down the points of interest because who knows, maybe one of these will take me near those points of interest and I can gather it along the way. Uh, for example, this Griffin School thing, look at that. It takes me past these areas and I can explore the immediate area around it. Alright, 